Very good morning children. Let's start a new chapter in science today. Chapter 11, Beautiful Earth. So do you know where we live? We live on the earth. And our earth is very beautiful. You know what makes it beautiful? Our earth has hills, plains, mountains, deserts, seas, rivers and so on. So these all make our earth beautiful. So today we are going to learn all about the landforms that exist on the earth. So first let's learn about plains. What are plains? Plains are far vast piece of flat lands. So they are flat lands and most cities, villages are on plains. And also it's easy to build houses, roads, buildings and so on on plains. So you can see the beautiful roads, buildings all built on plains and plains are flat lands. And also it's easy to grow crops on plains. Next, let's learn about hill. When the land rises, it forms a hill. So what is a hill? The land, when it rises, it forms hills. And when the land rises very high, we call it a mountain. So mountains are high hills. And you know what is the weather on these hills and mountains? They are very cold and windy. So people have to wear wool and clothes to protect themselves. The Mount Everest is the highest mountain peak in the world. So you can see the Mount Everest here. It is the highest mountain peak in the world and it's situated in Nepal. And two persons, Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norge were the first to climb on the Mount Everest. So they were the two persons who were the first to climb on top of the Mount Everest. And in 1953, they climbed the Mount Everest. Next, let's learn about desert. So you know what is a desert? Desert is a vast land which is dry. You can see in deserts, it's mostly covered with sand and it rains very little in deserts. So water is scarce in deserts and it's very hot during the day and cold during the night. Some animals like camels, lizards and snakes lives in deserts. Camels can go on without water for at least 15 days. That is why they are able to survive in the desert. Cactus is also a plant which lives in desert. Cactus also needs very little water. So it's able to survive in the desert. Now, let's move on to pond. So what is a pond? A small piece of land filled with water is a pond. So you can see a pond here. So what is a pond? A small piece of land filled with water is called a pond. And let's learn about a lake. A lake is a large area of land filled with water. So a pond is a small area filled with water and a lake is a large area filled with water. Mostly ponds and lakes are covered with rainwater and they do not flow away. Next, let's learn about streams. When it rains, the rainwater from the hills flows down to the land. So they flow down as streams. So you can see here the rainwater from the hills flowing down as streams. And these streams join to form rivers. And in these rivers also you can see many types of animals and plants. When the river water flows from a height, we call it a waterfall. So what's a waterfall? When the water falls from a height, it is called a waterfall. The water from the river flows into the sea. And what is the taste of the sea water? It's very salty and we cannot use it for drinking. A very large part of the earth is covered with sea water. And also in the sea, we can see many plants and animals. So these are the different land forms on the earth that makes it beautiful. Next, let's learn about our earth, our home. So earth is our home. It is not only home for human beings, but also it's home for plants as well as animals. We need clean air, water and land. 
and in the same way plants and animals also need clean air and water. We also need land to build homes and also to grow crops. So it's our responsibility to make our earth clean and tidy so that our earth will always be a beautiful home for us. So this is what we learned in our chapter beautiful earth. Hope you understood what was taught. Now let's move on to our exercises. You can open your text page number 87. So let's look at our first exercise. In page number 87 you can see the question tick the correct answer and the first question which is higher options are mountains hills so which is higher is it mountains or hills and the second question where is it easy to build roads is it on mountains or plains pause the video tick the answer and come back hope you have done it so now let's check our answers the first question which is higher is it mountains or hills it's mountains and the second question where is it easy to build roads and the answer is plains let's move on to our next exercise page number 90 when the land rises very high it forms a mountain hill desert the second question we cannot drink sea water because it is sweet bitter salty and the third one a vast piece of flat land is called a plain hill desert now let's look at our answers the first question when the land rises very high it forms a mountain second one we cannot drink sea water because it is salty third a vast piece of flat land is called a plain now let's move on to answer the following questions you can write down the answers in the textbook itself now let's look at the first question how is a river formed and what is the answer many streams join to form a river so write down in your textbook here in the space provided next let's look at the second question when is a waterfall formed when water from a river falls from a height a waterfall is formed third question what is a lake a lake is a large area of land filled with water fourth one how is a hill formed when the land rises it forms a hill so these are the four question answers next let's move on to solve the crossword so here you can see a crossword some questions are given there here you can see across and down across means to the right side and down means to the bottom so the first question in across high land not as high as a mountain so what is the answer it's a high land but it's not as high as a mountain so it's a hill and look at the number it's one so in this crossword find out the number one so here it's one and you can write H I L L second one very very high land so what it is it is a mountain and where it should be written here the second question so here two across so M O U N T A I N third one land covered with sand so it's a desert and where it should be written the question number is three across so find out three here it is three so d e s e r t desert now the questions are down the fourth one it's flat land so find out the number four here it is four and what it is flat land so planes are flat lands so write p l a i n next one five large stream of flowing water and find out the number five it's here and what's the answer large stream of flowing water it is river so r i v e r next sixth one extremely large place covered with salty water and the answer is c sixth one s e a so complete the crossword in this way so the next is higher order thinking skills we have some question answers these answers also you can write down in your text itself so let's look at our first question 
most people live on plains so what is the reason why most people live on plains now let's write our answer it is easy to build roads houses and also to grow crops on plains that's the reason why most people live on plains so write down the answer second question a camel is able to live in a desert so why is a camel able to live in a desert desert is covered with sand and gets very little rain camels need very little water so it's able to live in desert and the third question people living on mountains wear wool and clothes so why do people living on mountains wear wool and clothes because the weather is so cold let's look at our answer it is very cold and windy on mountains so people living on mountains wear wool and clothes so these are the three question answers to be written for the higher order thinking skills next we have value based question so let's look at the questions the earth is our home how will you care for the earth tick the true statements so we have some true statements let's look at our statements so let's look at our first question we should climb trees and break branches second one we should not pluck flowers and leaves from plants third we should shift the nests of birds to a safe place and the fourth one we should not leave waste behind when we visit tourist places let's look at our answers the first question we should climb trees and break branches so should we do that no so that statement is not true second one we should not pluck flowers and leaves from plants yes the statement is true so you can tick it over there third one we should shift the nests of birds to a safe place no we should not do that and the fourth one we should not leave waste behind when we visit tourist places and that statement is true so you can tick it over there the so next we have an activity so what is our activity activity zone complete and color the picture so you can see a picture here this is the activity for you in this chapter you have to color this picture and send it to a teams next we have the project zone collect pictures of different places on the earth only from newspapers paste them on a page of a newspaper fill the sheet completely with pictures what would you call your picture collection so what you have to do here you have to collect pictures of different places that we learned in this chapter on earth and you have to do it from newspapers you have to collect it from newspapers and what you have to do paste them on a page in a newspaper itself so you can do this activity the next one a parent guided activity is there a pond lake or river close to the place where you live find out its name if birds come there in winter visit the place and observe the birds so it's a parent guided activity you have to find out if there is a pond or lake nearby your home so visit it with your parents and also find out if birds come there in winter if so what types of birds come there observe them so with this we finish our chapter beautiful earth read the chapter two times and complete all the exercises that was mentioned in this class so we'll be meeting again in the next class till then thank you